What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay on Raid Hardpoint, it's a 4v4 scrim uh, against a team that my captain kind of knows, so it's kind of interesting, uh, I kind of frustrate the other team out a little bit with the class I'm using, which is slight variation of one I've used previously, instead of foregrip however I am using hardwired. Um, and we actually did end this game a little bit early because the other team winds up getting so frustrated they tried to use a cap 40 which is banned and whoever was hosting the game was like no we're not dealing with that so they ended it uh, it was still good gameplay though and it's not like they would have won or anything if we had continued it we very definitely had the lead there's no way they were coming back um, so before I get too far into things I would like to thank VTS for the opportunity to have this possibly up on their channel I think it's so great what they're doing to help smaller channels out uh, by letting them post on their channels and everything. And I realize that not every video might make it up there. I don't know if this one will or not. Um, but if this one does, I am a little bit about myself. I am a 17 year old competitive Call of Duty player. Most of my content is competitive gameplay, occasionally public matches, sniping matches, or just random things. I tend to focus on tips and tricks to help you guys get better at the game. So yeah, that's about me. Um, if this is coming to you on the VTS channel, it is quite possible that this information is a little bit out of date because of the fact that it can take a while since they have a lot of submissions to get it up on their channel. And so if it should still be fairly relevant, though. All of the information I'll be sharing is pretty much confirmed, so it's still useful. So into the main thing here. So I will be talking about Call of Duty Ghosts, and I will be talking about the perk system. So, and I'll have a chart at the end of this video with all the perks and their descriptions and their point values and everything. But to begin, uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven categories of perks, and you have eight points to spend on perks unless you take off attachments or guns or etc. from your other thing. So if you take off your secondary, you could have nine points or whatever. And each of the perks has a different point value ranging from 1 to 5 and I'll go into that in a minute here and so the and I'll, as I go I'm gonna talk about uh, if it's going to be probably banned from competitive play or if it's gonna be useful in competitive play or if it's just a perk that's there that'll probably be used in pubs so the first category is speed and I should mention that everything in the speed category is going to be viable and competitive I guarantee we will, we will be seeing these multiple times in competitive play. None of them should be banned. So the first one is Quick Draw, and this is going to cost you one point, and it's going to be faster aiming down sights. Um, next one is Sleight of Hand. This is faster reload, and it'll cost you two points. The next one is Agility, also two points. Uh, it's faster movement speed. Then we got Marathon, which is two points, longer sprint duration and Stalker, which is two points, which is moving faster while aiming down sights. And this is going to be the one that we will see the most in competitive, um, mostly for assault rifle players. It helps so much. It lets you strafe better. It's just amazing. Uh, as you guys know from like Black Ops 2, the stock always helped a ton. Uh, next category is Stealth. First one is Takedown, and it's one point. And it says enemies do not indicate where they have died to their teammates. Um, I don't know if this is going to be banned or not. I kind of feel that it will because it's kind of an advantage. However, you know, at the competitive level, people are calling out anyway, so I don't really know if anyone would use it anyway. Uh, next one is Blind Eye. This is going to cost you two points. It's undetected by AI killstreaks. This will be banned for sure. It always is. Um, off the Grid, which is two points. It's undetected, undetected, I'm sorry, by the enemy SATCOM. And the SATCOM is going to be like the UAV. Uh, that's going to be either banned or unusable anyway because SATCOM is going to be banned. Pretty much guarantee that. Uh, Dead Silence is going to cost you two points and you're going to make no noise while moving. This is going to be something that you will see on pretty much every single class set made by a competitive player. And then the last one in the stealth is Ghost and it's going to cost you two points. And there will be no red crosshair or name tag when you're aimed at by an enemy. That will definitely be banned. Um, I don't see that being allowed at all. Uh, next category is resistance. And in this one we have lightweight, which is one point, And you will take no falling damage. 
Uh, because they are separating this from like marathon or sleight of hand, I don't know if we'll see it a lot. It definitely won't be banned, but I feel like it may not be used hardly at all. Uh, in competitive, that is. Next one is painkiller. It's going to cost you two points, and this one is unconfirmed on the uh, description. However, people are thinking it will be faster health regeneration. If that is the case, I can pretty much guarantee it will be banned from competitive play. Uh, next one is toughness. That's going to cost two points, and it's going to be reduced flinch. This will be a huge one in competitive play. If you guys watched competitive Black Ops 2 at all, you know that toughness was on every single class from pretty much every American team at least. Sometimes other people would trade it out for something, but it was 99% of the time there. Uh, next one is tack resist. It's going to cost two points, and it's going to be resistance to tactical grenades. Um, if this isn't banned, which it wasn't in Black Ops 2, uh, but it was in MW3, so, you know, I, I feel like it's, it's probably going to be allowed this time around. Uh, that'll be used quite a bit. Uh, next one is Blast Shield, which is going to cost you two points, and it's increased resistance to lethal grenades. Um, this one will probably also be allowed, and it will probably be used quite a bit. Uh, the next category is Elite, and the first one in this is Gamble. It's going to cost you one point. It's unconfirmed in its description. However, people believe that it will be um, having the option to reroll care packages, which will be useless in competitive because care packages will be banned because it adds an element of um, randomness to the situation. Next one is Hardline. It's going to cost two points, and it's going to be one less kill per point streak. This will be banned, as it has been in every other com Call of Duty for competitive. Um, next one is Ping. It's going to cost you two points, and you will be able to detect enemies near the enemies that you have killed. It sounds a little strange. Basically, if I were to kill somebody, if they had a buddy around them, a teammate, they would show up on my mini-map. Uh, this will probably be banned in competitive. It might be allowed. We'll have to see. Overkill has an unconfirmed point value of 3 points, and you will be able to equip 2 primaries. This one is also a toss-up. Um, it was allowed in some tournaments for Black Ops 2, other ones it wasn't, so we'll have to see. And then the last one is Deadeye. This one will cost you 5 points, and it will be increased the probability of increased damage farther into a point streak. So as you get more kills, your bullets do more damage. And it, like I said, it's going to cost you 5 points. So, I feel like this should be banned. However, since it's costing you 5 points, it may actually be allowed. But, I mean, I feel like that's kind of unfair in a competitive setting. Because everybody is going to be at such a high gun skill level that if they get that little bit of an advantage there. with the If, if they get a lucky kill off the start and it just gets more and more damage output, they'll be unstoppable. So, I don't know if it's going to be allowed or not. I feel like it probably won't though. Next category is handling, and the first one in that is strong arms. It's going to cost one point, and you will be able to throw equipment farther. This will be allowed, I feel like. I don't know how viable it's going to be. I don't know the range on throwing grenades. Um, on the go is the next one. It's going to cost you two points, and you will be able to reload while sprinting. This is something that I will probably be using in competitive. If they should be allowing this one. Um, it's going to be pretty awesome. I, I'd like to see if you can also reload while mantling. That might be something. I don't know. Uh, next one is fast hands. It's going to cost two points, and you have faster weapon swap. Uh, this one probably will not be used in competitive at all. If it is allowed, we'll have to see. Steady aim is the next one. It's going to cost you two points, and you will have increased hip fire accuracy. Mm, this one might be used for an SMG player. It should be allowed in competitive play. Next one is Dexterity, and it's going to cost two points. And it is weapon ready faster after sprinting. And it's unconfirmed if it will be faster after mantling and sliding as well. This is something that a lot of people are probably going to be using in competitive because it should be allowed. Uh, Dexterity was used a lot in Black Ops 2 for competitive, so I'm predicting that it, it will be very common. Uh, next category is Awareness, and the first one in that is Recon. It's going to cost one point, and you will be able to spot enemies through explosives and or hit markers. So, like, if you throw a grenade and it hits them, you'll be able to see them on your mini-map, or if you shoot them once, you can see them. This should be banned from competitive, uh, like it was in MW3. 
Uh, next one is Scavenger. It's going to cost two points, and you'll be able to resupply ammo from fallen enemies. While this one should be allowed in competitive, I doubt anyone will use it because you don't go on massive kill streaks in competitive majority of the time. Next one is sit rep. It's going to cost two points, and you'll be able to see enemy equipment on the map. It'll be highlighted. This one should be useless because all the equipment that you can place on the ground should be banned from competitive. Next one is awareness, and this will cost you two points, and you'll be able to hear enemy footsteps louder. This one may or may not be banned. Um, I feel it, it really depends on how it's going to affect dead silence and how strong it really is. I think it's probably going to be banned, though. Next one is wiretap. It's going to cost two points, and you will be able to use the enemy satcom as your own, and also works with the satcom stacking system. This one should be useless since the satcom should be banned. Next category is equipment, and the first one is tac plus one, which is going to cost you one point, and it's an extra tactical grenade. Um, this should probably be banned. We'll we'll have to see. Uh, then there's lethal plus one, which is going to cost you two points, and you get an extra lethal grenade. Hopefully, this is banned. I, I, I mean, that and attack plus one, I don't want to see in competitive, because the stuns are powerful enough. We don't need them thrown constantly. Uh, next one is bandolier, which is going to cost you two points, and it's going to have uh, the ability to have extra mags. This should be allowed. I don't know if people are really going to use it or not, though. Well, it depends on how much ammo you get per gun. Uh, next one is an attachment plus one. It's going to cost two points, and this will allow for the fourth attachment. I feel like this will probably wind up being allowed. I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal. I don't think many people will really use it because I think three attachments is plenty. And then the last one is danger close, which is going to cost three points, and it's going to have increased explosive damage. And I feel like if they allow blast shield, then they will be allowing danger close. Don't know for sure, though. We will have to find out. And that is all the perks for you guys. Uh, by now, the uh, the chart should be on your screen. It should have been for the past several minutes, actually. So you can pause it, look through it, figure out what you want to be using. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way. Until next time, everyone, peace out.